bag. Yeah, it is. My heart is beating so hard. Yep, <laughs> stay calm, stay calm. How am I gonna get him up here? Oh, he's in too. What? He's in too. How am I gonna get him up here? I don't know, just pu just pull it up. Go to your right, go to your right, go to your right. If you're gonna move, go to your right. Welcome to the fall run. All right, got my first striper here at Montauk. We're doing pretty good. Brian's got some, Erica's got some. I'm spread between some rocks. Moss, mucho release. Here we go, let's go get some more. Well, as you guys can see, we're having a pretty good day. I can't set up the camera to catch us, you know, actually hooking up because the waves are just so insane and the wind is a little bit crazy. I don't want the mic getting everything blown over and getting soaked, so I'm hiding this camera, but we are having a fantastic day. Erica's caught more striped bass today and then in her entire life. And uh, Brian caught his first Montauk bass. I have yet to get impaled. So it's a pretty good day so far. Let's go. Yo, I have yours. Yeah, I'm like, this isn't my reel. No. Oh, I guess so. <laughs> No, you don't.
another striper on the bucktail using Erica's rod. Nice. Mwah, smooch and release. Another striper, little schoolie on a two ounce bucktail with a fat cow jigging strip. Mwah, smooch and release just like the hat. Here we go, send him back. One thing I do wanna talk about here before I catch another fish is we're up on the rock so you can see all this rock right here. We're pretty high up and uh, bringing up these little schoolie bass is a little bit difficult. So what you got to do, you got to come to your spot, figure out a path or a trail to bring your fish back up. Because you, you get them stuck in the rocks, you're either cutting your line or they get stuck in the rocks and you won't be able to get them out. So predetermine your area where you're going to bring them up. Like I have a nice trail right here. Smooth rock that I can bring up, not too many holes. Plus we got this wave. So if they do get stuck in a rock, let the wave bring them out, wash them out and you bring them up real quick. That's what we've been doing, it's been working. Bucktail, you guys saw how I worked that fish up here to avoid that rock. There we go. Another really nice schoolie. Look at those eyes. Beautiful, beautiful fish. All right. Gonna give him a solid smooch and release. Mwah. Here we go. Back into the water. Wait for the wave to come up. There we go. We're good. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna work this bucktail. I'll show you guys how I'm doing it. Cast it out, let it sit two seconds. Start reeling. There we go. Start reeling. Give it a twitch, twitch. Reel, twitch, twitch. Just like that, maybe let it drop a little bit, give another twitch. That's basically how I'm working this bucktail. And they're smacking it. We got cormorans all over, and believe it or not, we got seals. And we're catching fish, but all the seals are here, so. Typically that means no fish. 
but we're catching. Look at them, they're busting out here, dude. They're busting right out here. Here we go. We got bass just blitzing out here on the white water. Anything you throw to them, they're going. Wow. All right. There you go. Erica's in, Lee's in, I'm in. I had one. Yep. There we go, tripled out. Triple. I'm gonna need you to pull yours in at some point. We're getting splashed by waves. Erica, come on. Go, 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 go. Pull him, pull him, pull him. All right, hang on. Hang on, hang on. All right. Got another schoolie in this crazy white water. Mwah, smooch and release. All right, all right. I gotta get Erica's. Give me. Come on. Dude, that's freaking, that's a good size fish. You got him? We gotta get a picture of that. Anyway guys, we're going back for breakfast. We stopped here on the south side and uh, we found some blitzing bass. Uh, I caught two, Lee caught a bunch, Mike got a bunch, I, I believe. Erica got the biggest striped bass of her life so far and it's only the morning of day one. Yeah. So, awesome. we're gonna go eat breakfast, recharge some batteries, have some tea, and then come back out. Beautiful overcast day. Hopefully it's like this the entire, entire day. So, we're here for two more, at least, maybe more. God is good. Let's go. So we're currently back at the trucks. Brian's re-spooling. He's putting on some 50 pound braid just as like a, a bigger leader. That way when he's pulling up fish on the rocks, it doesn't cut his 30 pound. That happens. So he's got some 50 pound going on. Erica is gonna put some 50 pound on. We're chilling. I, uh, wherever my little fish log is, I logged down everything that happened today from the water temp, air temp, wind, current, uh, the tide, everything like that I put down in the log. Now we're just waiting, we had breakfast and we're gonna head back out soon. This whole Montauk experience is gonna be super fun because part one was really exciting. So 
here we go on to part two let's go